And here we are reunited, man and dog, doing niche research for you. We're here with Trending Niches episode 57. And in case you weren't aware, I do have a free Discord print on a man community with about 5,000 members in it, which is linked in the description, as well as a free email newsletter for additional content. But let's get straight into these Amazon and Redbubble trends. Niche number one that I found for you, which is currently trending, is Lab Week, short for Laboratory Week. And just in case um, you don't know what it's about, um, Google says Medical Laboratory Professionals Week is an annual celebration to highlight and show appreciation for laboratory professionals. So people who work in a lab um, are being celebrated right here and shown appreciation for. And this week is currently hosted between the 14th and the 20th of April, at least for this year. So you've got a few days to enter this um, and a few days of demand left. If you're watching the video after the week has ended, keep this in mind for the next year as well, uh, because it's a reoccurring event. And what we can see right here is um, some very low BSRs with some established sellers, 22K, 24K BSR, uh, 33K. And um, then we've got some new badges popping up as well with a few designs, which many of them are pink as we scroll down further. And you might notice that this looks a lot like Barbie. That is because the um, organization which hosts or supports uh, this event has decided that the theme for Lab Week this year is um, Barbie, which I would stay away from that. Like, yeah, maybe you can use pink colors, but I wouldn't actually try and copy like the the movie logo, the movie font, or definitely do not use a silhouette of Barbie right here in your designs. Um, but as you can see, there is a bunch of designs that literally just say Lab Week 2024 um, that have also started to sell, even though they've been posted recently. We've got Lab Week 2024 here, that's um, a bit more established, 268 days old. I mean, take that as an example and be the same person that also gets prepared a year in advance for Lab Week 2025. Whilst you're at it, if you're going to create designs for this niche and for this current year, also change the year for the next year, why not? The lab is everything, I think is kind of the, the catchphrase for this. Um, I, I checked it for trademarks and it's fine. I don't think this is from Barbie. It's actually uh, more like the tagline for this uh, for this celebration event. Um, so yeah, I hope this little trend helps you out. Definitely a lot of designs selling pretty well. Uh, loads of low BSRs and quite a few listings that I've recently posted, which is promising. Oh, and obviously don't use any Barbie keywords in listing either. It might be the official theme for lab week of this year, but that doesn't make it safe. Like anything Barbie is still completely off limits, whether it's in your design or in your listing data. Moving on to trend number two, we've got the NYC or New York City earthquake right here, which at first glance, seems like a niche you would want to avoid. Um, it, it seems like the typical human tragedy event um, that could cause rejections on Amazon. But to my knowledge, there was no casualties here. It was just an earthquake that happened in New York. Uh, coincidentally, it was right around the solar eclipse as well. Um, so you are going to see a few designs that are cross-niched. Yeah, here we go. I survived the New York earthquake April 5th and the total solar eclipse April 8th. Um, so people who were present at both events might want uh, to buy these t-shirts now. Um, this trend has obviously been around for a few days. You can see right here, seven days ago, most of these were posted, um, but there's still sales happening. And surprisingly, I've also heard from a lot of people that solar eclipse shirts are still selling um, a few days after the solar eclipse has already happened. So yeah, this is, very, a very, very new niche. It's fresh. Um, it is going to probably die out in sales in a few weeks, but at the moment, um, there's definitely potential right here because it's so fresh. And there's not a lot of variety in designs either. Like almost every design has the exact same layout. Um, and not that many of them are, are cross niched with solar clips. And a lot of the ones that are showing right here are just about the New York earthquake. Um, but yeah, there we go. I hope this helps and uh, try and be creative with your designs. Like this person, I think, has done a good job at, at designing something that's actually a bit more unique than 90% uh, of the other search results. Next up, we've got Star Day, and notice it's S-T-A-A-R, so I'm not talking about stars as such. Um, this is a specific event 
um, that's happening in schools in Texas. Uh, it's testing, like a testing event actually, a standardized test given in the state of Texas to primary and secondary students, according to Google. And the dates for this STAR testing are April 11th, um, April 18th, and April 23rd. So there's three different sets of tests. Um, and the last one, 23rd, is about math, apparently. The one on the 18th is about science, if you want to be more specific with your designs. Um, but yeah, I thought this is interesting. I've never seen it, but it seems to be doing pretty pretty well in terms of BSRs right here. We've got some generals of Star Day. You've got this designs, um, Star Squad as like a matching outfit, um, Brat Star Day. You got this. Um, so a lot of motivational things. Um, you might want to try out mixing it or cross niching it with the current year. I can't see that very often. Um, so that is potential. And um, there is there is some designs popping up um, recently posted. Like here we've got published seven days ago with a BSR, so that's sold fairly quickly. We've got some more examples. Um, it's star day, don't stress. Do your best um, over here, and oftentimes you see Texas, or the silhouette of Texas, within these designs replacing the letter A, so um, that's another thing to bear in mind. So yeah, there we go, star day. It's about testing in schools, and um, we've got another few days for this, but same again. If you're watching this video too late and you've missed the trend, then just prepare for next year. Um, because clearly some of these designs are selling extremely well at the moment. So uh, there will be potential again in 2025 to do well in this niche. Now with all of these short notice trends, I did want to give you a trend which is not really peaking yet and that you can prepare for in advance. And it's a one-off trend, which is a good thing. Um, typically those have less competition. So in this case, I'm talking about D-Day specifically D-Day 2024 or D-Day 80th anniversary because the 6th of June, um, so you've got what, like two months to prepare for this, just shy of two months. The 6th of June marks the 80th anniversary of D-Day. And we can see by scrolling down right here that there is a bunch of designs that are aimed specifically at that date. We've got 1944 and 2024 right here in these designs. And the interesting thing is they're selling across different markets. So we've got US as the top seller, but there's also um, Germany right here, France in England, uh, United Kingdom. Um, I don't know if that's, yeah, this is an anniversary, anniversary design as well. Then on the right, there's one that's literally just been posted four days ago to the American marketplace, already started selling. Down here, we've got some more examples, 80th anniversary, only just posted two weeks ago, and it's selling, this one's selling in the UK, this one's start selling in the US. So yeah, there's interest here, and it's across different marketplaces, which is always good. That shows you more potential and also a bit of an edge. Uh, because not everyone posts to all markets. Most people focus on the US. That means the competition is probably going to be lower in some of those foreign marketplaces. So this is one to prepare for. You've still got about two months and um, this is probably going to drop a lot on BSRs at the moment. They're not super impressive, but the fact that we also already see like 100, 200K BSRs, to me, that's saying um, there's going to be quite a lot of sales happening once we get closer to the anniversary. Trend number five is a very fresh one. Uh, it's called What's Up Brother? Well, that's the words that are trending. And as you can see, published four days ago, three days ago, six days ago. Um, but yeah, most of these only like literally a couple of days old. And the trend, it, as far as I understand it, comes from a streamer who often says What's Up Brother? and holds up his finger. And then this is just kind of turned into like a a trend across lots of different platforms like TikTok, Instagram, people are, are saying what's up brother and holding up their finger. And yeah, that's why it's selling so well because it's kind of gone viral this phrase. Yeah, not much to say about it. I mean, even a design that just says what's up brother with a finger in the air seems to be doing well, um, even though it was posted three days ago. So definitely take a look at this. Since it's so new, probably not too many listings indexed and uh, an easier time to get sales right here. Will it last very long? I don't know, but it's one of those random social media trends that could easily help you get some short-term sales. Now with Cinco de Mayo coming up, I did want to try and find some sub-niche ideas or potential sub-niches for you to enter. The first one being Three Amigos. Um, I found this one because there's a shirt right here posted 17 days ago, and it's already selling pretty well, 280K BSR. 
And the idea of these shirts is you see salt, tequila, and lime, right? Um, but as you can see, there's also other spins on it. Here we've got cacti with sombreros that says um, Tres Amigos, Three Amigos. And what I found interesting is these matching outfits at the top. Um, Amigo 3, Amigo 1, Amigo 2, which those designs are not bad, but I could see someone coming up with a nicer looking design as well and making like a, a matching outfit um, or maybe making it themed around salt, tequila and lime and then making it matching with Amigo underneath, something along those lines. And generally speaking, if you look at the designs, they're all fairly similar. Like here, this, this one looks pretty much the same as the newly most recent posted one. This one also is just a bit more simplistic, but again, same layout, same sort of style. Um, so maybe maybe there's opportunity here to introduce a bit of variety into this niche. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, that's sub niche idea number one for Cinco de Mayo, um, which is coming up in about a month, I believe. And that is three amigos. And another potential idea for Cinco de Mayo that I found is Adios Bichachos. Now be careful with this one, at least on Amazon, because Bichachos, you can translate it yourself, uh, is a bit offensive or a bit of a swear word so amazon can be a bit funny with those um, but at the same time there's a listing here posted or published five days ago and that one didn't get rejected so it might be fine and this is just the most plain text like white text on a black t-shirt and it's got a 133 kbsr published five days ago and that's one of the reasons i wanted to shout this out because clearly um, people are loving this phrase. There's a, a few uh, sort of top heavy sellers right here, 21K, 22K. Um, some really cool looking designs, to be honest. This is going to work very well for Cinco de Mayo, already seeing very low BSRs. And clearly it works with a bunch of different styles, um, targeting different target audiences. So check it out. We've got one with a cat right here as well. And that could give you inspiration to how to like cross niche this phrase or or take a different approach with it, um, perhaps. But again, be careful on Amazon. That second word might cause rejections, um, but on every other marketplace, you're definitely fine to sell something like this. Moving on to Redbubble Trends, I didn't manage to find too many this week. Um, it was a bit challenging. Lots of trademarked stuff that was trending, um, which is no surprise with Redbubble, but usually you can find um, some safe trends more easily. The first one is professional yapper, 70 results. And for any of the non-English speaking people watching, yapping can mean one of two things. It can either mean um, a sort of shark shrill bark. Um, so a dog would make a, a yapping sound, a, a barking sound. Or in relation to people, it would be talking at length in an irritating manner. Kind of like I do in these videos, right? Um, but um, no, it's if you imagine sitting in a cafe and, and someone's like talking, chatting really loud, endlessly, that would kind of be described as yapping. And yeah, apparently they are professional yappers because it's trending on Redbubble um, with a bunch of sticker designs ranking up top, but also simple text stuff um, on these t-shirts. I love yapping on the right. Um, that's pretty cool as well in a few different color schemes. And professional yapper, uh, some with graphics. So yeah, there's, there's some variety here, but most of it is just basic text style designs. Interesting to see this trending. Wouldn't have ever expected it to be something that people are interested in buying for a sticker or a shirt, um, but apparently so. Um, so yeah, check out the yapping niche. The next trend for Redbubble I found is PhD Survivor, and this has 118 results, very, very low competition, a bunch of cards showing, like greeting cards, and most of the time the jokes are kind of about PhD being in the words and being highlighted. For example, here, finally done, PH and D, again, highlighted. PhD candidate is crossed out and then Survivor underneath in a bunch of these. So yeah, I think it's, it's fairly, Self-explanatory, um, don't make me use my PhD voice. Uh, a bunch of funny phrases around this. And um, mainly they're selling on t-shirts and greeting cards. Um, judging from these search results. I do really like this one in the top left. It kind of stands out because it's the only one that's a bit more artsy, whereas the rest is fairly simple text-based stuff. So yeah, definitely a cool design up here. Ranking in the first spot on Redbubble. And the next trend I found is global studies with 162 results. Uh, I quite like this sticker in terms of the color scheme and the fact that each letter has got a different color sort of moving through. And 
some of them say international studies as well at least this sticker right here um, I wouldn't I wouldn't put Barbie in there again we've got a Barbie cross niche uh, definitely not international studies I love international studies um, is there any more global yeah here we go global studies club um, St. Mary's College okay I, I guess you could do that without the college name underneath um, do a global studies club design and I think that's about it the rest of these results doesn't seem to have anything to do with global studies um, a lot of random designs ranking right here that don't seem to have to do much with global studies so the true search results are probably quite a lot lower than 162 um, which is always a good sign. One more thing I quickly wanted to make you aware of is that if you sign up to Flying Research, which is the tool that I'm using to find the Amazon Merch Trends, you actually get a weekly print-on-demand newsletter which shows you trending niches and a low competition evergreen niche each week. These are really, really cool. Um, I've just started reading them. If you want me to make a dedicated video kind of explaining one of these uh, sort of niche reports and how I would go about using it um, and how to read the data, then definitely let me know. I can do that. Generally, it's about showing what's currently trending, what's been happening in the print and demand space. Like people have been getting tiered up recently. If you did get a tier up, congratulations, well done. And some of the sort of real life mock ups are back on Amazon. Um, they show a trending niche as well as what's been deleted recently. And then they also go into a low competition evergreen niche that they found. And they give you lots of suggestions of what to design, what phrases to use, what keywords to use. Like these reports are really, really cool. So if you want a dedicated video just to show you what these look like and whether they're worth signing up to Flying Research for, then let me know in the comments down below. If you want to learn how I find scalable niches to increase my print and demand sales, then make sure to check out this video next where I share my exact process.